The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is often described as being the most agreeable of all the small house dog breeds that you could bring home. These pups are athletic, strong, and lively. Their herding instincts are still strong, yet they also have a desire for human companionship. They tend to be affectionate without being overly needy in their requests to have a snuggle. These traits can also apply to the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is a sensitive dog with high intelligence levels. They love to play often, responding well to training by wanting to learn more activities. These pups are fearless in their herding ability, moving cattle efficiently while being vigilant about their watching activities. You'll get the big dog bark with this breed even though the animal comes in a much smaller package. List of the pros of Corgis. Corgis love a lot of companionship. The Corgi loves the friendship component that comes when you bring this breed into your life. They are dogs that are always eager to please their humans, which means you're going to have a bright personality by your side for a long time. They love to go on grand adventures, so a walk around the neighborhood is only the start of what they enjoy. You will see them wanting to go for rides, taking walks in the woods, and exploring your backyard with your company whenever you can make the time. This breed is exceptionally smart. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi are two of the smartest dog breeds that you will ever get to meet. Part of their intelligence profile comes from the herding instinct spread into them from an early age. If you're that small and facing off against large livestock, then you've got to be smart to avoid those heavy hooves. If you offer lessons that are frequent and consistent, then your pup can learn almost anything. They also have a robust food drive, so you can use that trait right away to begin obedience instruction. Corgis are sociable dogs who love a good head scratch. The companionship that your corgi offers is a two-way street. They want you to be social with them, but they are very sociable in return. This breed tends to do well when there are other dogs in the home. Their herding instincts will turn them into chasers, so you can expect to see races around the house when their energy levels are high. If you have a cat at home, this game is going to happen frequently. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi loves to chase all of the other dogs at the off-leash park because of this advantage. You also need to be prepared to have your new friend following you around the house wherever you go. They love to be a shadow, curious to see what you're doing, and if any treats are going to make their way down to the floor. Their unique look makes this breed popular with almost everyone. People get a kick out of the shape of a corgi's butt because it is shaped like a heart when the dog is in good shape. It's a phenomenon that even has its own hashtag on Instagram. Since their tail is virtually non-existent, a happy pup is going to give you a full body wiggle instead. It is one of the most unique and endearing ways that this breed loves to show their appreciation for your attention. When you can return the favor, then you'll discover that these dogs are one of the most loyal breeds that you could bring home at any time. They have the personality of a German Shepherd. You'll see Corgi owners sometimes referring to their dog as being a miniature German Shepherd. Part of this description is due to their physical appearance. Their muzzle, coat, and ears are very similar to the larger breeds in the herding group. Even the personality of the Pembroke Welsh Corgi is similar to the bigger dogs. Since they are on the smaller size, anyone who has ever thought about having a German Shepherd will find that a Corgi is a legitimate compromise that will make everyone happy. This breed is a long-lived dog. When you take care of your Corgi appropriately, then you're going to have a friend who can easily live in excess of 15 years. Even when you look at the average lifespan of the Pembroke or Cardigan Welsh Corgi, you'll have companionship for an average of 12 to 14 years. You'll want to give your pup as much love as you can because they learn things quickly, but their stubbornness can be discouraging at times. If you're willing to be consistent, put in the time, and stay dedicated to the process, then the patience you offer them will lead to a lifetime friendship that you'll always treasure. List of the cons of Corgis Corgis need a lot of daily stimulation to thrive. Corgis don't like to be left alone for a long time. Their definition of length is going to be different than what most humans would consider. If your dog is left unattended for more than a couple of hours, then their boredom can quickly turn into destruction. 
Working full-time with a Pembroke Welsh Corgi around means you'll need to supply your home with numerous toys and diversions to protect your furniture, shoes, and linens. If your schedule is unpredictable and you can be away from home for extended periods, then a breed with more of an independent spirit is going to be better suited to your lifestyle. You will want to feed your Corgi high-quality dog food. The gastrointestinal tract of your Corgi is going to be a little sensitive. That means you are going to want to invest in high-quality dog food for your new friend. There are several commercially prepared options from which to choose, but you'll want to use one that is appropriate for their age. If you make foods at home for your dog, then you'll want to discuss the nutritional profile of your efforts with your veterinarian. Some corgis are prone to becoming overweight, so you'll want to keep a careful eye on your dog's exercise levels and eating habits. Treats can motivate this breed, but it can also be an action that leads to obesity. Shedding is a significant problem with all corgis. The American Kennel Club rates the corgi as one of the breeds with the highest levels of shedding frequency. This disadvantage from an ownership standpoint is due to the weatherproof double coat of the dog that's remarkably thick for the animal's size. There is a light undercoat to manage, followed by a thick, coarse outer layer. Shedding is going to happen daily, with the output sometimes doubling for the spring and fall changeover. You'll want to give your corgi a bath to help loosen the dead hairs in their coat. Make sure that the pup is entirely dry before starting the brushing process. You might want to consider using a rake to strip the undercoat out. It also helps to trim their nails after managing their coat, and then you'll want to review their ear health. Corgis require a lot of exercise if they are going to thrive. Some people have a misconception about corgis in that they believe that exercise is not necessary for them. That fact is just not true. This breed was specifically created to work as a herding dog. There is a lot of energy that they need to expend every day. Some of them turn into lap dogs, but most of them are not going to nap all day or sit around content to watch the squirrels outside. You will need to be proactive in your management of their activity levels. This breed is not a quiet dog. You will find some corgis don't like to vocalize their feelings or greetings to other animals, but those pups are the exception instead of the rule. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi and their cardigan cousins are both quite vocal. If they don't receive enough stimulation during the day, then they can become very loud. That can make it difficult to keep them in an apartment or condo complex. These dogs often have a mind of their own. Corgis are often willing and eager to please, but they have a stubborn streak to them that can become problematic in some situations. If you gently expose the pup to a variety of people, situations, and places starting around seven weeks, then you'll help the dog develop into a well-mannered and adjusted adult. Their energy levels and intelligence can cause them to be very stubborn at times, but reward-based training can usually help you to fight through that issue. They're typically agreeable, but their herding instincts can sometimes take over to make them become hyper-focused on a single task and ignore you. You must provide consistently firm training lessons to your Pembroke or Cardigan Welsh Corgi to create a positive experience. If you waver even a little, then your dog is going to work on exploiting that loophole whenever possible. Corgis are not usually good with small animals. If you have other dogs at home, then a Corgi can often fit right in with the pack. Even cats do well with this breed, especially if the animals had a chance to grow up together. Some corgis can be problematic in households where there are small pets since their herding instincts will kick in right away. If you have rodents, bunnies, or other little creatures as part of your pet family, then you'll want to supervise your Pembroke or Cardigan Welsh corgi carefully to ensure that an unfortunate circumstance doesn't occur in your home. Conclusion Whether you prefer the Pembroke Welsh corgi or the Cardigan Welsh corgi, You'll find that these dogs are clever, funny, and mischievous in interesting ways. You'll need to manage their lifestyle carefully to avoid potential health problems, but life tends to become better when this breed is by your side. Your corgi doesn't need to be a social media superstar to become popular. These friendly pups might be a little wary of some strangers, but a quick scratch behind the ears will usually solve any problems. The pros and cons of corgis are essential to consider if this breed is interesting to you.
If you already have other dogs or pets at home, then this option is often filled with a lot of positives.